Evening everyone, this is Lucha1ZFE and this is part 2 of my DVD stroke Blu-ray update. As I mentioned in the end of my last update, this one's going to be solely Blu-rays. So I'll get cracking with the first one. The first one is The Warriors. This is the ultimate director's cut. Um, you know, this is a classic Walter Hill film. And Blu-ray is probably the best way to see this, this, um, this film. This one comes with quite a few special features. Um, for the first time in the UK. I know it's a, an old release, so to speak, but it's one that I've been waiting for to come down in price. And when I saw it in my local HMV for a fiver, I decided to bet it was the best time to pick it up. So that's the Warriors. The next one is similar to Father's Day in a way. And it's a low budget film called Dear God No. And this was, um, I first saw this on Collins Update, aka 42nd Street. Um, is shown the DVD so I managed to find a Blu-ray release um, this is actually signed by the director and you also get um, like a car sticker or whatever what you stick in your window yeah it's signed I mean you know it's, um, it's a, I wouldn't say cheap release as such but it's um, it's one that they've done obviously so obviously the insert is just paper obviously you can tell there's no disc art on the Blu-ray but um, it plays well. Um, I've just I started watching it the other day, but uh, I had to uh, I had to turn it off because I had to shoot off somewhere. But it's just it's just madness. It's absolute madness. It's uh, it's got, got all sorts in it. It's Hell's Angels, um, bare bare breasted ladies going around with shotguns. You know you got a Sasquatch in there. It's it's just madness. But it's it's a good laugh. It's made by people who actually love the genre. And you can tell by that because they, you know, the way they there's loads of little references to certain other films and directors, and it's a cracking watch, and I can highly, highly recommend it. So that's dear God no. The next one is Iron Sky. This comes with Blu-ray digital copy and a 32-page production booklet. Now I don't know whether that's that was a HMV exclusive or not because all the other Blu-rays that I've seen knocking about don't come with a production booklet. But um, I've heard mixed reviews about this. But uh, all the hype that this film managed to generate, mainly because some cinemas are only showing it for one day, and then the following uh, Monday it's going getting released on Blu-ray. But I believe there was a petition by certain cinema goers, and I think there was one or maybe two cinemas in London showing it for the whole week but yeah it's i mean i don't need to talk much about this one it's had loads of loads of hype but um it's one that i've not watched yet but i am looking forward to watching it so that's iron sky the next one is i don't know if i've shown this in a previous update or not but it's the arrow release of demons 2 no, i have got the steel book and i have got the standard blu-ray release of the first demons but I decided to pick this up because it's got the second part of the, the comic book, Demons 3. But um, yeah, I don't need to talk much about this one. It's Demons 2, it's got great artwork on it and I decided to pick it up. Uh, my next one is the Universal 100th Anniversary Collection series and this is the limited edition digibook of The Sting. We don't get many digibooks released in the UK so when, we, when a company decides to release them I try and pick them up. But, you know, I saw this film a long time ago and I remember really liking it. Obviously, everyone knows it's got Paul Newman, Robert Redford, um, Robert Shaw and some other great actors in it. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's a digi book. And I'm um, really looking forward to catching up with this one again. So that's The Sting. My next one is a still book that everyone seems to have picked up and shown. Understandable, really. And that's The Return of the Living Dead. Limited special edition steelbook. I mean, loads of people have shown what's inside here, but you get a. Obviously, you get your Blu ray with the original audio track. Then you get your little booklet there. There's some nice pictures, and it's a, it's a good booklet that. It's very informative. And then obviously, you get loads of special features on the back. And then you get the um, More Brains, a return to the living dead. Return of the living dead, you know, the two-hour documentary which is really really good I watched that the other night it's fantastic that but I can safely say this this film alone got me into the zombie genre I think when it got released in our country it was 85 I think 84 or 85 and I watched it and I was just I just absolutely loved it 
and since then I've had it on VHS. I've got the region. Yeah, I've got the region one anniversary edition with the um, glow in the dark slipcase. Got the region two release. So when it come out on Blu-ray, you know you just got to pick it up. But yeah, it's a fantastic release. Can highly recommend it. That's the Return of the Living Dead. My next steel but is one that I missed when it was originally released, and it's Hannah. This is the triple play edition UK release. Yeah, I missed the boat with this one when it got first got released. I decided against buying it, um, but since then it's one that I've regretted. So it was been on my Amazon wish list for quite a while, and then it about four six weeks ago it went down to nine pound ninety seven. So I decided to buy it then at that price. It took about a week to arrive, so I think they had trouble dealing with the uh, with the order. But yeah, it's one that um. I regretted not buying at the time, but I'm glad I managed to pick it up. I've heard good things about it. I'm not even going to pronounce that, the main girl's name, but it's got Eric Banner and Kate Blanchett in it. And loads of you have got this, so perhaps you can tell me more about the film if it's, you know, deserved the uh, hype that it has had. So that's Hannah. The next one is another Arrow Steel book, and that's the King of New King of New York limited edition. I have not watched this film, oh Christ, from the first time I saw it years ago. Um, looking forward to this one though, I mean, you know, Christopher Walton is just great in this from what I can remember. And it's supposed to be a really good release, this by Arrow. And like I say, loads of people have shown this previously, so I'm a bit, um, bit late showing mine, but that's King of New York. And my next one, and my last one, is a steel book of Paranormal Activity 3. Uh, the reason I got this because I love the still book. I'm not a massive fan of the franchise, I must admit. But uh, I really do, I really do like this still book. It's quite hard to get hold of now. This is the German release. Is it Media Market or something like that? I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, I've seen the first one and it was okay. Um, I've not seen the second Paranormal Activity, but I decided to pick this up. This went for about just over twenty pound on eBay, so I decided to buy it. That price anyway and ideally I want to get the the first two in steelbook form but they just go for stupid money so I'm kind of gonna wait for them to come down a bit before I the um, before I decide to start buying them all right guys that's the that's all my DVDs and blu-rays that I've purchased over the last what couple of months um, like I say always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing really do appreciate it um, I have got a few more things coming in the post but they won't be arriving for about another three or four weeks. So I'll do an update round about that sort of time. Yeah, so take care everyone. And I'll um I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.